Let's take a look at the VetSource integration experience within DaySmartVet. We'll start off by looking at the patient profile. And what we'll first notice is that it's very nice that all of the VetSource records and recommendations are going to sit within the general patient history. So it's seamlessly integrated here. You don't have to go to any other portal to see that. So for example, right within these records, we have the item name, and we have the instructions, the dosage and quantity and all of that sort of thing. We also have statuses here. Was this recommended by the provider? In this case, yes. Also, we have other records to show that they're in fulfillment or completed. And if you want to jump directly to your pharmacy history, the vet source recommendations and records will be there as well. So I can filter in day smart the types of records and jump just to pharmacy. And that will show your in-clinic cells and medical records as well as the vet source. And you can identify those just by looking at the reference that says vet source right there. You also don't have to jump to a portal to make your recommendations um, or your approvals. You can do that right within DaySmart Vet all in one place. So, for example, let's say I was working within a SOAP during my appointment, my medical note. You can add your notes and records right within there. So I would go to the records tab and go to my new record just as I would normally. And in this case, instead of searching for something on my shelf, I'm just going to click this little box here to search the vet source product catalog. And then that changes to new recommendation right up here. So I would just search for a particular item in my catalog for vet source and I'll choose the appropriate item. It shows the item name. It shows the uh, other details as well. So I know exactly what I'm choosing here. And then I might have my instructions in here and I could put a pharmacy note in here, something specific for the pharmacy. Not so common, but you might say something like growing fast into new dose, just so the pharmacy knows that that's something that's okay for them to use. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So that creates the recommendation for VetSource. So you're in Day Smart, you create that recommendation and it sends VetSource that information and VetSource will send the client that information as well. And again, that's just going to show in the general patient history right there. The status is currently recommended until the client actually completes that order and pays for it through their side of the vet source portal. Now, if you're going to have an approval or denial, that's going to go to an alert to you. And you would go to the patient module to do that. You'll see this Rx request tab here. And if there's something pending, you'll see that there's a little blinking light right there. So I'll click that. I have different statuses here. So if I'll check my pending ones. And I can just view that if I want to get some details. But um, I might just go straight to approve or deny that. So I would go here to approve it. Click that little button there. And then I can put in my refills as usual and some appropriate date for that. I can also put in instructions and pharmacy notes for that as well. And then I would just click approve. Again, that would send over to VetSource and then the client would receive that communication and be able to fulfill that order. Similarly, I can do a denial and I would just click deny on that record. And then I would choose the appropriate reason for that. Depending on the situation, you have the pre-populated choices and then you have other where you can put a custom text in there and then just choose deny. Once again, that will send to vet source and then that will communicate that for you to the client. And what's nice about this is that when you click approve, you get more details so you don't have to jump to another place. You can open up the client and patient links in a new tab with those hyperlinks, but you, you don't always need to. You have the weight there, you have the age, and you have the breed and the species there. So a lot of times uh, a particular item or dose will be based on that. It's all right there in front of you. Now to get started, you'll have to enable the integration inside of DaySmartVet. You'll head over to the settings module here. 
find the add-ons tab, scroll down the alphabetical list until you reach VetSource Home Delivery. Right here, you'll click the green plus, and then there's a little description there. You most likely won't have the access token handy. VetSource will create that for you. So to let them know that you're interested in it, you'll just click this little link here, and that will send an automated email to the support at VetSource. It'll have your clinic and contact information, and they'll look at it, and they'll create your token for you. If you're not a customer yet of VetSource Home Delivery, they'll have one of their reps reach out to you to help onboard you. So then we'll make sure to get your token and then you can just enter that in there once you have it. Now, you might want to be a little bit patient and could take 24 to 72 hours for that turnaround time, but they will help you as soon as possible.